Couple questions, bro. That's about it, man. Here with the legend, man, Kumo D. You know what I'm saying? Showing love. How, how how important it is to you know keep the legacy alive of the people like Roxanne Shante and let people know where it started and what's going on because a lot of people don't know. You know the battles. You're the first. Well, <laughs> I'm the first. Anyone tells you that shifted the paradigm. Nah, don't there be were humble. You're the first. There were, there were battles before that, but I was the first one to shift the paradigm. I mean, to having people talking about each other directly. I mean, knowing the mankind, though. Hey. You know, <laughs> you don't put it that way. I'll take it. I'll there was fossils it. before they discovered it too, but yeah. they had to discover. It. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got you. I you got understand you. what I'm saying? Yes, so yes, I mean, yes. with, with that with that in place, I mean. Do you think more of the entertainment business need to, you know, initiate that part putting this, our story out? Because you know we have like, what was the the, the, the joint they had on Netflix? Or I forgot the name of it. They took it off the air or whatever about the hip at the beginning. Um, I forgot the, the name. Down. The get down. Right. You know, it's more of that. But I'm talking more realistic. Like you know, what I'm saying, are people like yourself having input in it to let people know what's going on or how it started? Well, the hardest part of the business right now is the. Uh, it's business yes. rules are taking uh, over artistic rules. So morning. once something becomes a business, just like you see with a, uh, take it to the NFL, Des Ryan just got cut from the Cowboys. Right. <laughs> when it's strictly business, it becomes strictly business, and there's no more uh, artistic, ethical things going in the equation. So at the end of the day, uh, even getting things, projects like these done are great from a different perspective. It's just, it would be great to see us actually doing it ourselves because we actually lived it and we can give you a different eye. We'd be like me trying to do a movie about the 40s when I didn't live it. That's right. what's happening right now. So we're getting some of these stories done. I do think Straight out of Compton was excellent. That's the, the, the high level of the bar. We're doing my life story right now. And I'm trying to make sure that we get as close to authentic as we can possibly get because I think uh, being in there, and I'm, I'm a co-executive producer, but I don't know how to acting and all that, you know, from script, to scream a whole different process to go through. To I should have been more direct because I was beating around the bush. That's what I was really getting at. When we get into your story, I and mean, you kind of answered the they question. They're literally writing on it right now. I'm flying out to uh, LA in about two weeks to meet with Overbrook, see if I can get Will Smith, my brother, to uh, produce it. If we do that, we'll put the right money behind it and make it happen. Y'all we'll hearing it first, happen. man. We got the legend, Kool Mo D. The story come to life. If y'all don't know, this is one of many of the people that established and put the main brick down of what we got now called hip hop, man. Cool Mo D, we appreciate you, man. We're gonna be looking out for that project, man. Shout out from blacktruth.net, man. It's a pleasure to talk to you and meet you, brother. Thank you, Black Truth, peace. Thanks, bro. Thank you. What's up, bro?